Hey you guys, it's your girl here with another video. Um, a couple of months ago, I went to an event and I came across this brand, Glamorous Chicks Cosmetics. Um, they had a booth there and um, I could see from a little bit of ways from the table that they had some, just some really pretty like colors on their table and I went over to look and it turned out that they have... Um, I guess you call them, they are six in one pigments. Uh, when I purchased them, I was told they were like seven in one pigments. They're mineral eyeshadow pigments that you can use uh, several different ways. So it means that um, you could use it as an eyeshadow, you can apply it as an eyeliner, you can apply it um, with your mascara, you could also use it as a bronzer or a highlighter, you could use it as a blush, you could use it as a lip color, and you could use it as a nail polish. So on their website, if you check it right now, it says six in one but um when you look through the description it does still say seven and one and when i purchased it it was seven and one so give it a try anyway try using it all seven ways um the powders that i have are it's this one here is insistence this one here is carnival and that is the color that i'm wearing on my eyes here well wearing on my face actually and this last color down here is called banana i use banana um not too long ago in a video that I did with a love and hip hop inspired look. So I did that video a while ago and I'll just post the link to that one uh, down below because I applied it over my um, other eyeshadows because it gave it a really nice shimmery uh, color to it. It actually, when you first put it on, it's kind of light, but you could um, layer it on because it's mineral and you could just, you know, keep dabbing it on and then you can make it just more intense. Anyway, um, I really like the concept of this because you can make anything that you want. So if you want to use this as an eyeshadow, if you want to use the pigment as a lip color, let's say you cannot find it or uh, let's say it's pretty expensive and you just need the lip color for um, one night or you're just doing like a fantasy look or you, you know, go on a carnival and something and you need to really, you know, pep up and step up your look, um, you could use these things instead and uh, make it into whatever you want. And it's a lot cheaper and you could use it different ways so you don't have just a you know a bronzy a lip color you could use it as an eyeshadow or bronze or whatever the heck that you want to use it as so um i'm not sure if i mentioned that already but i did create this look using the um the middle color in carnival i will be posting the link to that uh below so you guys could have a look uh, at how i create the look with that but yeah um i'm a very big fan of this i purchased this several months ago and i probably uh purchased like this color here the one on top and that one there at the bottom because i had more like a it was just before the summer, so I had more of a summer idea in mind. Um, I look to do with it, and that's why I purchased it. But I definitely wish that um, you know I could purchase some more. Um, since I have these, I'll probably use these up and then I repurchase another set. So yeah, um, I definitely like it. You could um, use it as an eyeshadow. So what you would do is. Um, I would recommend putting this on with a brush. Some people still use um, sponge applicators. I would definitely recommend using a brush to put this on. And what I also would recommend that you do is take a piece of um, cardboard or a thin piece of cardboard, take a piece of paper or something, and hold it just under, you know, like your, your eye here, and dab on the, the pigment because it's very well pigmented, and it's like with uh, glitter, if you drop a little bit of it, it spreads a lot, and it shimmers a lot, so you'll get it all over everything if you drop just a little bit of it. So um, if you look in my video, I was also trying to apply it like this so that if any fell, it would fall straight down instead of onto my face because since it's like uh, the ones that I have are like more shimmery, what will happen is it'll land like on my cheeks and then it'll give me like that like glittery glow somewhere that I don't want it. Um, for um, the eyeliner, what I did was I applied it with my face atelier tea gel. So it's like a transforming gel and you could just, you know, take it uh, with um angled brush and just um, apply it to your under your eyes which is what I did here uh, but you could also mix it with the same gel and make it as an eyeshadow but I feel like um, like the lighter colors kind of die so I would rather just put the the black eyeliner or like a brown a deep brown eyeliner and then apply it just under because it kind of makes like a nice you know glittery effect around the eyes um, as far as using it as a blush 
what'll happen is um like with um this middle one here carnival it's um even though it has shimmer to it and it has like a metallic-y look to it sometimes when you put it, it it put a lot on it just it doesn't really uh blend in on my skin i don't like the way that it looks um it looks like i'm doing like an ad or something like something like very artistic but it, it, i can't wear it for like a normal look so what I usually do is apply it as a bronzer instead. So um, I'll mix it sometimes with a matte uh, bronzer, which is what I did with here. Or I'll just apply apply it and just kind of like dab it on a little bit if I just want like that little bit of shimmer, but not like too much. I don't want it to be overpowering. You can use it as a lip color. What I've done here is I've applied it with a lip gloss. Um, I used a clear lip gloss from dots um, but you could um, you have to mix it separately I wouldn't recommend that you put it on your lips and then you know apply the pigment over it I would recommend that you mix the pigment with the lip gloss and then dab it on um, the thing about it is that I don't really like the thickness of most glosses so you know the the dollar store gloss that you might have uh, the one from like the beauty supply store a lot of lip glosses have like a certain thickness to it I would recommend that you use it with something thinner like the Mac Pro Longwear gloss coat it's the one that comes like in a little vial with the black top because it's a high shine clear gloss and it um, doesn't dry your lips out or anything like that, but it's thin enough that you could apply the, um, the shimmer powder to it and it won't be thick like, you know, it won't be real thick and you like when you open your mouth like this, you won't see it like, you know, the line coming up from because it's so thick it's spreading from one lip to the other. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that you use it with a thinner gloss. Now you could also apply it as a mascara. What I would suggest that you do is buy some of those... Um, disposable uh, spoolie brushes the ones that you'll see like at um, Sephora or something um, and take it and dip it into your mascara or into a mascara that you probably don't use very often and um, because then if you if you put it back in that way you don't have to mess up the mascara what I would do is put it in the mascara and then dab it on with a brush which is what I did and you also see that in my video I did that as well um, so just take it dab it on a little bit and then put it on now you could put it on your whole lash if you'd like um, I would recommend that you put your regular mascara on and then use this the other one that you've already prepared with the uh, with the pigment on it and put that on like as the like the let the second coat or the third coat if you're one um, one of those people who put on like a lot of coats like mascara like I do um, but the thing about it is that with some of the colors because like someone looking directly at you if the the lashes are the same color as say your eyeshadow you can't really make it out so it just looks like you are only wearing the eyeshadow so what I would suggest that you do is only like frost the tips which is what I did with this look here or what you could do is um, apply a different color to your lid if you want to use it as the mascara so what I would say is like apply let's say black or something and you want to use this color here uh, banana I would apply like a black mascara a black eyeshadow I should say and then take the mascara and use the the banana so that it has the color so someone can definitely decipher that you know that your your you can see your eyeshadow and then you can see your um, your eyelashes but it's just a great way of not keeping um, you know of you know keeping people from seeing that you've applied it to your mascara as well and it's a really pretty pigment so you want people to see as much of it as possible um the other thing is um i applied it here as like a, a highlighter straight down my nose and um here on my cheek uh, but you could also use it as um some of the colors obviously as a bronzer you wouldn't use like this one here as a um as a bronzer because it's you know like a blue green but it does give a really nice shimmer it's not too much if you just dab a little bit on you could dab a whole lot on like i did and you would just type of like a big T and it doesn't look really good but here I think I did a pretty good job I just put a little bit on there um, I used it also with a nail polish a clear nail polish and I made sure to put a sesh feet over it um, and there's another clear top coat that I use I'm not sure what the name of it is right now but I would make sure you you use a very high quality top coat over it so that you know it doesn't chip or anything like that because it's all clear and you want most of the color to stay there um, and also I would buy like a dedicated clear nail polish for that uh, because it's once you get it mixed in with your nail polish what will happen is you can't ensure that you mix the the powder well enough that you get a, an even uh, 
coat I should say every time you use it so definitely use it with like um, a clear nail polish that way you can keep mixing it until it looks like it's all been mixed together and um, yeah so yeah that's um my experience with um, Glamorous Chicks Cosmetics 6-in-1 uh, or 7-in-1 eyeshadow mineral pigments. Um, I think it's a really great way of uh, diversifying, you know, your makeup. And what I like about, like, the shimmery color, so like this this one here, my light, that darn light, the yellow and the the banana and the carnival. Uh, what I like about them is that you could apply just that alone. You could apply that all over your lid and just put some eyeliner on, some mascara, and go, because that's what I've done before. And so it's like you don't have to use too much product just to create a really nice standout makeup look. So yeah, definitely give them a look. I'll definitely post the link to their website below. If you guys have any comments, questions, or responses, please leave them in the box below. If you haven't, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to check out my video uh, uh, doing this look. And yeah, until next time, take care. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Bye.